Hi guys, and welcome back to Old Man Jacob Photography. I've got a video that I'm really excited about today. Uh, Topaz just came out with Photo AI version 2 about a week ago. I was never a user of version 1, but 2 has significant improvements. Uh, I downloaded a free trial of it and went ahead and gave it a shot today with a couple of photos that were already pretty good to see if it could make them better. And my mind was blown. Let's jump in and take a look. All right, here we are, Topaz Photo AI. We're gonna go ahead and open the free demo and upload some images into it that I've already prepared. I'm gonna switch to one of the macro images since that's what you guys are probably interested in. So here we have a focus stacked image. Uh, it's already very clear, but you can see that Topaz is sort of running through its, what they call autopilot, basically making decisions on if noise needs to be removed or if it needs to be sharpened or whatever. Um, this was already a very clear image, so the only thing it thought it needed to do was upscale it, since I did have this uh, sort of downscaled for uh, for Instagram. But if we go ahead and zoom in here, it's like 200%. You can see with its upscaling how much clearer all this stuff is. But even at 100%, because of that, look at this. I mean, just the the clarity difference is... Incredible, look at this. How sharp these these hairs are, how clean the background is. This is just, I mean, blowing my mind. This is so good. Um, this image here, this is another focus stacked image of a ladybug pupa. It's running through its sort of, you know, auto mode. It decided it needed to sharpen. So if we scroll in and look at some of the differences between this side and this side. The left side, by the way, is before. The right side is after. You can see a lot of this isn't a massive difference on this specific image. Uh, but you can see a difference, especially here. Look at the detail on its face that to that that's that's spectacular it, it takes an image that's already a good image and makes it a great image um now we'll go back here's another another example here's uh just a just an adult ladybug it'll run through its autopilot here and make decisions on what it thinks it needs to do um on this one it just went ahead and upscaled it which doesn't seem like much but just the upscaling, I mean, look at the clarity difference. I'm at 67%, if I go to 100% even, look at the difference in clarity between before and after. It's just out, outstanding. And look at the noise, look at what happens. This is crazy. Uh, I have one more macro image to kind of test with it. So this one I picked specifically because uh, it is not a focus stacked image and this has already gone through the noise reduction and sharpening that Lightroom and Photoshop have to offer. Uh, so can Topaz make it better? We scroll into his face here. 200%, that's grainy, this is not grainy. Let's go back out to 100%. Look at how much sharper this looks. Look at how much clearer things are. Look at that. It is just absolutely incredible. Um, if we get into, uh, boy, there's not much noise to begin with on this image, really. I picked some, some images that were already pretty good. But if we go to, uh, so we're stepping out of macro right now. I've got two more images. These are just some pictures of my car. Uh, they were shot at pretty low light, so there's more noise to them. So it's going to run through its little process here. And I want to show you, uh, when I was testing this before, how Topaz can kind of mess up. So it thinks it needs to sharpen. And if we go in 200%, there's not much of a difference. Um, the back wheel is something that was sticking out before is not being done that great. 
but it seems to be all right now. Let's see what happens when we try to remove noise from the image. Let's see if it gives us the same mistake as it did before. So now, I mean, noise is gone. Uh, oh boy, yeah, this, this is just gonna make the entire image just way sharper. I mean, look at the difference. Oh man, that's incredible. But if it does what it did before, look how much nicer the wheel looks from out here. But if we zoom in, look at it. Not good, right? Now granted, we are 400% zoomed in here, but on the original image, um, I drive a WRX STI. You can see the STI logo on the caliper there. And uh, this Ray's logo here. Topaz has kind of messed that up. So this is, um, I did mess around with this recover original detail slider and it helped quite a bit before you can, um, you can see it's done a fairly good job of bringing back what that originally was, but it's not perfect. Um, so that's a, that's a, that's one spot where you might have a problem is maybe with text in certain places. Um, check this out here. Yeah, see again, where there's text, not so good. Luckily in macro photography, we're not dealing with a lot of text. Check out this image here. This is the final one we'll take a look at. So on this one, it's running through, we'll see what it decides it needs. I'm gonna guess that it's gonna to wanna to do some noise reduction. Yeah, it is. Um, so this is an image that I actually added grain to on purpose. Um, but, let's see how good it does at 200% uh, of removing that. Look at that. That is incredible. I'll come over to where the flare is. That's, that's beautiful. Um, it seems to be doing all right with this text, maybe not quite so much there, um, but it's also not adding sharpening on top of it. Check out the detail in the reflection here, and look at that. So that's, that's just incredible. That is a massive difference, massive difference. All right, I don't know if you guys are as surprised as I am, but this absolutely blew me away. Um, I am, as soon as I'm done making this video, immediately purchasing this and downloading it. It is going to take pictures that are already good and take them to another level that I couldn't have got to in any other way. Uh, this was very surprising to me. I hope it was surprising to you. Uh, if you wanna check this out for yourself, test it on some of your own images, uh, just go to the website. You can download a free trial right now and check everything out. If uh, you like this video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.